A lot of people get confused about how much RAM they need, and it all boils down to your usage. What are your needs? Again, are you a light user? If you're a light user, maybe even 8 gigs of RAM might be enough for you. But in my opinion, in today's age, 8 gigs may be enough, but I highly recommend you get at least 16. The sweet spot right now for most people would be, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, 16 gigs of RAM. If you're a content creator or a videographer or a photographer, then 32 gigs would be great for you. I think that would be just great. However, the higher you go, the more versatility you have and the easier it is to work with 4K or 8K videos or multiple tasks, multiple apps running together. So for casual gaming or video editing, you, you need at least 16 gigs of RAM. No. There's no question about it. You can't go with 8 gigs if you want to do gaming or video editing. You can't. You just can't work with 8 gigs. You need at least 16. But if you want to do something that is even more intensive, like heavy gaming or heavy video editing tasks, then you should get at least something like 32. Now this laptop here, I upgraded my RAM and I have 32 gigs. That's the beauty of Windows machines. Unfortunately, with Macs, you're stuck with the RAM that you get once you buy it. So that's why you got to be careful. Before you buy a Mac, make sure that this is what you need because you can't upgrade the RAM on a Mac. The RAM is soldered onto the motherboard, so that's why you can't change the RAM. But with Windows laptops, you can upgrade. So this Razer Blade came with 16 gigs of RAM, and now I upgraded it to 32 gigs of RAM which is more than enough for most of my needs, for my gaming and video editing needs. So if you want to look for an upgradable machine, then go for a Windows machine. Same thing when it comes to SSDs or hard drives, and that's my next point. 